Hello, this is Brad Pluth from Dick's House of Sport, and we're going to talk a little bit about Bryson and some of the challenges that he has with his equipment that um, he made public. I uh, had a good fortune of working with one of his uh, uh, fitters from Cobra, and he said that they felt like they were married because they spent so much time together. They were common law married because they spent so much time together over the two years that he was working with Cobra. But I know he's moved on, but uh, he definitely presents some interesting challenges that are kind of one in our point zero zero one percent of the golf population. It's hard to design golf clubs for that. But and with gears, it's a lot easier to do that. I think he's utilizing technology both with Chris Como who has gears and all of his other developers or new his new partners. So what we can see with gears is like his static lie. So one of the things that I think is unique to Bryson is if we look, he's, he's a very upright golfer. He's an upper core, what I consider an upper core golfer. Notice how high that, that club shaft almost goes up to his sternum, right? So that's how I know he's an upper core. Some people, they go to their hips, some people go to their navel, some people go to their sternum. So there's different power sources that you can utilize, but he's definitely an upper core golfer. That's why you see him set up the way he does and actually come through the way he does too, right? So that's that's the difference between address and impact, okay? But we can definitely see he, he's, he's an upper core golfer. So an upper core golfer has a lot of droop and not a whole lot of deflection or more droop than deflection. And let me explain that here in a second. But with gears, we can see what the shaft is doing and what the face is actually doing at impact or even throughout the whole swings. I think we all react to the face um, in, our, in our golf. So we can see grip roll, how much that club is twisting, shaft path, and here's kind of the, the main numbers that we're looking for is the, the, the droop and the deflection. So when they get that matched up, Bryson likes it. But when they when that has too much droop, again, like I was explaining there, Mike, or uh, Michael Neff explained this to me as, you can have one or the other, but you can't have both. And if you have a lot of deflection, meaning side to side motion, you can't have a whole lot of droop, and if you have a lot of droop, then you can't have a whole lot of side to side. So it's kind of matching up because the golf swing moves in three dimensions. It's working up and in, down and out, and back up and in. So it's a complex problem that he's applying a lot of force and swinging at 125 miles an hour. He didn't even hit this one all that well. He missed it relatively high in the heel, um, but he's still producing. 185 miles an hour ball speed or 186 mile an hour ball speed so pretty good so I think average is or average on tours the right around 175 so he's 10 miles an hour faster he can get about two and a half yards per mile an hour ball speed or to the distance so there's reasons why he, he's leading the tour he's not even leading the tour but he's one of the top 10 drivers of the golf ball on tour so wonder about launch angle, any of that kind of stuff. So again, we can utilize technology to help get the right equipment in your bag or optimize the equipment. Sometimes it's just a loft issue, sometimes it's a shaft issue, but we can see really what's going on with gear. So the other interesting thing is what I'm talking about for, for Droop, notice that club head shaft kicks forward. That's kind of what the issue that he has or the challenge that he has is how much deflection can you have rather than droop. Again, the droop is from more this way, but notice that that handle lines up with the sweet spot every time. That's kind of true with every shaft. So he's really having more issues with the deflection more so than droop. So interesting little side bit, but if you want to find your best equipment, please feel free to give me a call at 952-401-4653. Love to help either with your golf game or your equipment. Thanks.